so um, i thought of creating a new series for the people um, who have interest in mathematics uh, programming especially in python or in that matter any language and also um in the behavior of the stock market or cryptocurrency so i guess people who love who loves number and data they always try to see uh, and look for patterns um uh, like a physicist uh, they they try to find pattern or try to explore uh meaning of a new pattern in the in our natural world similarly mathematicians try to find path patterns into the data so stock market if we look at stock market uh in the perspective of a data scientist or of a person who loves data um it's a huge amount of data that is flowing right and uh, for a long time many mathematician has tried to decode this huge amount of data to find patterns some were successful uh we'll be talking about some of them today and we'll see some of the methodology that can actually be tried in the stock market to get huge return and we'll know about some of the people who have actually done it and you don't need to be a mathematician to do it you just need to be interested in coding programming and mathematics and obviously in stock market um so this video is uh, just to discuss the some of the uh, theory and the idea behind some of the strategies and this is not uh, any investment uh, advisor um uh, investment ad um ideas or any sort of things having said that let's move on so what is arbitrage Uh, i think this is what we always try to do right um, uh, whenever whatever trade it can be in stock market or in real life also whenever you are selling something you want to buy it low right It's because you want to get profit so whenever we want to uh, sell something uh, buying it in a low price and selling it in the higher price is called arbitrage um now why we are talking about arbitrage right so in the stock market isn't it what we are doing okay that probably if we if we look at high in the high level uh, what we, what people trying to do in stock market it's basically they want to buy a stock in the low price and whenever uh, the price is going up they want to sell it now many a time for many many years people tried to predict um when a price of a particular stock will go up how much it will go up on which day and time it will go up and if i can predict that i can buy it now and sell it then so that i can get profit but how many of them actually can do that not a many but people who knows or at least that applies some mathematics to their trading strategies they were able to do that in fact um these ideas actually used in hedge funds so unfortunately uh, in india we don't have hedge funds but in us hedge funds were very popular um uh, at least Uh, even a decade ago as well they are there as well today also and hedge fund managers used to get uh, highest salary among all the um all the different types of jobs that are available in the market so why is that so before talking about money and how can you use mathematics let's talk about these two people who actually 
uh, broke the market. Uh, let's first talk about Jim Simmons. I think we all, at least most of us, heard about Jim Simmons. He is popular for string theory. He is a mathematician. He was some for some time. He was professor of MIT, and he got his uh, PhD from University of Cal California, Berkeley. Um, also, he he is a founder of Renesa Technologies. Now, what what is Renesa Technology? Renesa Technology is an H a fund company who who use um, they use mathematical models to predict market and they have created extraordinary return out of stock market that's why um, jim simmons considered one of the legends of the market and those of you those uh, of you heard about um, warren buffett Warren Buffett actually acknowledged uh, Jim Simmons. Uh, uh, his average returns were 66.1% okay, uh, for a span of 30 years, and which is extraordinary because in the middle you have so many recessions and all, and you are constantly making that amount of money from market. It's outstanding how they have done it how jim simmons have done it he has created a lots of lots of mathematical model he hired scientists to study the stock market data and that's how renesa technologies have uh, done it throughout the years on the other hand we are talking about a professor of finance uh, of uh, new york university edward altman and we'll be talking we'll be actually discussing about one of his uh, creation, which is um, I, uh, which is an extraordinary innovation, it's called Z-score. Now, uh, when he actually created Z-score, it was to um, understand how far a company is from bankruptcy. Okay. Uh, uh, but in reality, when G-score formula that uh, Altman developed, uh, people started using it. They actually ended up providing investors an idea of an overall financial health of the company. So he created a formula by applying which you can actually understand how good or bad a company is doing. Why I'm talking about all these things, maybe, right? So... Um, Let's look at some of the things. So we were talking about data and pattern, right? Uh, which is very important um, uh, for people who actually who are data scientists or mathematician. Um, they always are craving for data, right? Because they know yeah, something is hidden in the data. So let's look at now some of the data from stock market. Uh, as the name suggests, right, the name of the slide, can we find a pattern? Now, before that, uh, let me tell you, it's a data of Nifty and Bank Nifty. What are they? They are indices of um, Indian stock market. So Nifty is our uh, store, um, uh, one of the indices uh, for one of the, like probably the most uh, popular uh, indices that people follow. Um, uh, for Indian stock market and bank nifty is, uh, is the index for specific banking se sector and here is the data uh, for a day of both of these um, indices and if you look at it surprisingly you will be able to find that both of them both of these indices has a pattern of forming their price data it's looking same right but they are from a different uh, from the different indices let's look at some more data this is the data for tata motors and bajaj auto on the top you will see the price data for bajaj auto they both are automobile company they they are hugely popular in indian market for uh, manufacturing two wheelers and here also you will see 
there is a pattern both of them both of these stocks are going up at the same time and probably going down also at the same time why is happening there is something called correlation in mathematics what is correlation it is nothing but a measurement of a relationship significance between two items so what is the significance um between two items uh, now if it is positive that means they are positively correlated they goes in the same direction probably like a couple happily uh happily married couple and if it is negative then probably it's like a matured a couple who wants to do things differently jokes apart here in the chart you will see this is the data of hdfc bank versus kotak bank okay i i like i, I love banking sector that's why i'm using their data, data frequently and you will see here also it's wonderfully correlated you won't be believing that two this is a price of two stock and they are exactly doing same thing at at the same time but okay i understand that two stock from similar sector or are from similar indices of a country can do things um similarly and there is a correlation between their uh, price data but what is the benefit of that why we are talking about it now they might not do things similarly so suppose um, a happily married couple uh, there can be a disagreement and then they can take different paths they can go in two separate ways and they can again come back to work in the same road similarly same thing can happen for stocks also who have similarity who have positive correlation they can go away from each other and come back again so when two securities or two stocks go further away from each other we call it as divergence it's not for stocks for any of the phenomena if it is moving away from each other it's called divergence but as we know if the security has those securities have positive correlation they have to come back and that is called convergence now think of a mathematical model if a mathematical model can predict when the stocks are going away from each other and when they can come back again so if a mathematical model can predict the convergence and divergence of two stocks which are positively correlated with each other or um correlated to each other then we can take trade in those securities ahead of time knowing what essentially going to be the price of the security in the future and this kind of mathematical model so this is convergence and divergence is one of the ways of doing it how can we implement it what are the formulas how we are actually going to take trades using this we'll be seeing it in the subsequent videos of this particular series thanks a lot for listening